Hello, everyone. I'm so happy to have you back here for a brand new episode of <clears throat> Brain Worms. Now, in my review of the last several Brain Worms videos, I've realized so much of the content we've looked at has stemmed from the mask, no mask debate. I mean, COVID really made the whole fucking world go completely batshit crazy. I know some of y'all agree the mask thing's kind of a dead meme, so do what you want. Follow the CDC guidelines, live in a bubble for the rest of your fucking life, or go to Times Square and make out with strangers. I don't personally care. I will say, though, if you're still, like, sneaking around CVS trying to film someone on your phone and publicly shame them for not wearing a mask, you're just as cringy as the anti-maskers were a couple of months ago storming through dark. And that preface is to say that this is a mask debate free episode of Brain Worms. We're long overdue, but thankfully there's no shortage of people that have no ability to exercise restraint and poise in public and to our benefit, uh, would rather chase the adrenaline rush of looking like a fool in public. So we're gonna look at some of that. Let's get right into it. You people are telling me that I gotta go put two more hours into this when I have eight hours into it already. Yes, you two, you, you two. I don't want to talk to your boss. We got a classic, I want to talk to your boss right out of the gates. Can I first comment, this man's fit though? Kind of low key heat. I mean, the Nikes are nice, the shorts, decent color, but a Tommy Hilfiger top at that age, it takes a certain type of man to wear that, quite frankly. I am. Uh, you're the boss? Well, who is your boss? You may be the boss of this. Yep. Oh, you're the boss? Well, guess what? Every boss has a boss, so let me talk to the boss's boss's boss because I'm very important, and if you don't let me talk to the boss of the boss's boss, I'm about to leave a terrible Yelp review for the service I just was rendered. Ah! You may be the boss of this, yep. but who Here, you know what? Boss? I'm going to do you a favor. I'm going <laughs> to give you my business card. If you call the okay. Department okay. of Public Safety, you make okay. sure you use my name. I will. I will. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. You have a great day. Yeah. And I do apologize yeah. for making a scene, but you I'm have to understand I'm where I'm coming from. I'm, we're past nope. that, sir. We're past that. If you want to apologize to somebody, you apologize. No, I don't want to apologize. No, I don't want to apologize. Get out. He tried to pawn off a little apology to make himself feel better about acting like such a little bitch in public, but my man behind the counter wasn't having it. And he immediately recanted his apology when he couldn't get that little bit of redemption for being such a crybaby. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. These people suck. I would suggest you go to an as is tradition, we were provided zero context of what led up to the altercation. We just get to see the subsequent flip out. But listen, it's 2021. If you've spent five minutes on the internet, you know that no one gives a shit about context. Blood pressure up over a fucking virus. Jesus Christ, man. Bro, somebody get some This is America. Not 1920, Russia. What's the matter with you? This is America, not 1920. An expression. No like it lean. Hey, mind your own fucking business, Chubby. Can I get this talking? You can't this man did not just call someone chubby. You can't you can't script something like this. To throw stones from a glass house is just is just sweet. But it is, I mean, in his defense, it is America. Freedom of speech, as he said. You heard what I said. Interesting. What you said too. He's doing his job. Fucking communist bastards. Y'all gotta know it. Oh, saw the cameraman. Okay, How's it going, camera. Antiva White Trash? Really? Wait, what? Yeah. Thanks. Antiva White Trash. Look at you, Antiva? Thanks, Karen. Bye, Karen. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, oh, come on, dude. My man was about to get swung on and the video ends. This is horseshit. I mean, it was kind of hard to take that guy seriously, but the second an old, decrepit, out of shape boomer uses chubby, as an insult to someone else, you know he means business. You know what I do take seriously though is my choice in wireless earbuds, which is why I'm thankful that once again, Raycon is a sponsor of today's video. We can all agree that a lot has changed this last year, but my love for my Raycon wireless earbuds remains unwavering. Whether I'm working out, enjoying the spoils of spring weather, or trying to watch the latest Leon Lush video on my iPhone while my wife is watching Grey's Anatomy, you know, on the couch during family time. Raycons are the perfect companion. If I'm listening to Celine Dion because I want to have a good cry or I'm ripping a podcast on on the shitter, I choose Raycon because not only do they come in a variety of fit options, patterns, and colors, they're also loved by celebrities like Snoop Dogg and Mike Tyson. My style is impetuous, my defense is impregnable. And they continue to disrupt the electronics industry by offering premium wireless audio at half the price of all the other brands, no compromise. You get six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, a great bass response, and a noise isolating compact fit that's comfortable in your ear. Whether you're picking up a new hobby or want a reliable way to work from home, Raycons are a great way to inject premium audio into everything that you do. And with a 45 day free return policy, it's easier than ever to try them out. And as usual, 
You can use my link in the description below or go to buyraycon.com slash Leon Lush for 15% off your very own pair. Thank you guys for the support as always and thank you Raycon for supporting the YouTubers that we love. I appreciate you. A lot of engineers who could help you. I, I am putting this to buzz. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I'm pretty sure I saw this a while ago. You're genius. Why do you take the lid off? Yeah, Take the little, so pry it open, there you go. Listen, rule number one, if you steal somebody's sign that you disagree with and you go to rip it in half and you don't have the sack on you to rip a little cardboard sign in half, you've lost no matter what. There's no way to redeem yourself. You have completely lost. Put that sign on the ground, go the fuck home. Come on, we're bonded now. Clearly on, he's not do done it. though. You're he's so gonna close. keep trying. He's gonna You're keep so trying. Close. Oh boy. Try the other one. Look, there's no lid on that one. Come on, you can do it. There's no lid on that one. Come on, do it for the boys. They're not so proud of you right now. He is. Don't you want to make this... them proud? Come on. Oh, you're gonna oh, keep oh. it. Oh. <laughs> he spent 10, 15 seconds like, no. If I fold it first, I... okay. If I maybe quadrants, maybe crease it, and that. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna take it with me. Fuck. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna bring it with me though. Uh, I just imagine 10 years from now, this guy's out in public with his son and his son's like, Dad, why does everyone laugh at us every time we go anywhere? And he turns to his son and he says, Son, let me tell you about the time I got my ass kicked by a cardboard sign. I asked you for a cheeseburger. I'm sorry, what do you mean? I asked you for a cheeseburger. Oh, and I asked you, you for a cheeseburger. You want to scream at me? I asked you for a cheeseburger. You want to scream at me? I asked you for a cheeseburger. You want to scream at me? Don't scream at me. I asked you for a cheeseburger, bitch! What is this? What is this, bud? Burger? Where's the fucking cheese? Listen, part of me empathizes with this man because I know what it's like to get irrationally angry at very innocuous things, like I do with video games. And apparently cheese on a burger is this man's video games. His friend gave him a three count and then was like, yeah, I'm dipping, bro. Three, I'm leaving. I want a cheeseburger. Josh, I'm going to do a cheeseburger. I'll move your ass. I'll move your whole ass. I'll move all y'all. Shut up. Shut up. This is Quinn brainworms right here. This is like, how the fuck, who... How do you grow up in life and end up like this? Like someone, there was a massive failure along the way, either in the parenting or the societal. I don't know, but holy shit, like that dude just dipped in three seconds. How you can't be friends with someone like this? You could never go out anywhere. I said, shut up. I have a cheeseburger. It tastes good. I said, shut up. Oh really? Like, like, like you talk about listen. Look at that parking lot, man. Oh, smash this fucking drink out your face. Tell this man to get the fuck out the restaurant. Right? Fuck you. No, fuck you. And fuck you. Oh, you know what it is? It might be St. Patrick's Day. I see some beads around the neck. This could be an alcohol induced cheeseburger rant. I swear to God, I'll whoop you in this restaurant. Don't fuck me. Don't fuck me. Oh, dude. Here he goes. Yes, yes. Yes. My man, my, my man is no underwear on. His ass was already out. And what was that approach? My, what was that initial approach? The dude was just like, "This is too good. I'm gonna have to censor that ass, though." <laughs> oh my god, he was too worried about people seeing his micro penis that he was letting himself get wailed in the face and paying attention to his shorts instead. <laughs> Oh, the beads! Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, this is the saddest fight I've ever seen, but it's hilarious.
Oh, no. America, America. That's what it's all about. Oh, man. Yeah, the internet really makes us look bad sometimes. Okay, how you done? How you done? I mean, the dude talked all the shit and then succumbed to the weakest attack of all time that I've ever seen. Lost his pants in the first three seconds and then got choked out by what looks like a three out of 10 athlete at best. Tough day for Josh. Uh, St. Paddy's did not do him right this year. Josh, strike 77. Five, six. Five, six, buddy, read the sign. Yeah. Okay, read the sign. Come on here, let me yeah, see. Read the sign. Yeah, read the sign. You're being recorded, man. You don't need a donut, really. I'm not getting a donut. And you better not be recording me because I'll sue your ass. Okay. <laughs> That's the best. That's the best. People know all the rules about recording in public. You got me on camera? Sued! Sir, is that a Nokia flip phone pointed at me? Sued! Ma'am, is that a Kodak camera? Put that- Oh, God, that flash was bright. God, put that- Sued! Yeah. Yeah, we have the freedom to record. Yeah, good. Uh, Marcy, thanks. Yeah, I'm recording you. I'm recording you. I'm recording you. <laughs> no idea why that lady was pissed. I like to imagine it's because inflation caused the price of her favorite chicken sandwich to go up 13 cents and she didn't want to pay it. Uh, but that's just my own fantasy. So I'm here at the CVS in uh, Reseda and the manager, uh, Gustavo, he just accused me of stealing, of sticking something in my bag. Gustavo? Uh, sir, I was just wondering why you accused me of stealing. Right. I'm not accusing you of anything. Well, Is do you ask question? every customer if they put something in their they bag? They put stuff in their bag, yes. You ask every customer that? That's a policy here at CVS in Reseda? They put stuff in their bag. Oh, I see. Especially okay. Well, you know, if somebody has a bag, I really don't think it's right to uh, ask them if they put something in it. You know what I mean? I mean if you're at a store and they see you put something off the shelf into your own personal bag that's not like a shopping bag or a cart... Doesn't seem too out of line to question what's going on there. Just because someone has an empty bag doesn't mean that they're a thief, Gustavo. Yeah, but he saw you put something in it, though. You asked me if I put something in my bag. Did you put something in your bag is definitely an accusation, Gustavo. You're asking me if I stole. Um... Well, sir, I think it's wrong what you did, and I'd like an apology, please. Oh, for fuck's sake. I mean, just if you didn't put something in your bag, just be like, hey, look, no, you must have missaw something. Or if you did, explain why you did. <laughs> like, it's not, it doesn't have to be this huge thing. I'm fucking begging for an apology, you pussy. This is so dumb. Well, you took that as an insult. I apologize, sir, but it wasn't, it wasn't that at all. <laughs> That's Gustavo, not a real Sandy, apology. Sir. That's that's just. I'm sorry if you took it as that. Anyway, uh, Gustavo, I don't think you should accuse people of stealing, and um, I'd appreciate it if here at the CVS in Reseda, that that didn't happen. This cell phone shit has made people so insufferable. Listen, maybe Gustavo made a little mistake, thought he saw something he didn't, or not. Maybe put something. I don't know. But like this scene you're causing, this this whole like I'm here at the the CVS in Reseda, uh, address two thirty five, Highway two. Uh, here, uh, Gustavo said I had a something and I put like, shut the fuck up. You're just get the fuck, just get your shit and go the fuck home. Get out of the store. You look like an idiot. You're not supposed to record him. Well, I am. Well, you're not. What's uh, your name? Yeah, Imagine how this could have went, right? Gustavo comes up, thought he saw something. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. He asks you, sir, did you put something in that bag? And if you didn't, you say, no, I didn't. Check it out. Nothing's in there fucking situation over. That's it. When someone gets this flabbergasted and huffing and puffing, oh, I can't believe Gustavo would ask me if I put something in my bed. Usually when someone is that defensive, they're guilty. And for the record, one of my old bandmates was a longtime manager at CVS. And not just CVS, but just retail stores in general, people steal shit all the fucking time. The lost revenue from stolen goods in these stores is insane. It's not out of the question for Gustavo to be a little suspicious when someone's walking around with a bag and maybe he sees something.
So my girl's like recording what sounds like a music video. She's recording to some pre-recorded audio. And Blue Shirt Lady whips up from the right-hand side with the walker. What's going on over here? This isn't a burlesque. Don't Look at her just eating up that camera, though. That bobbing and weaving. Listen, people saying I'm going to call the police every time there's a little bit of a squabble is a little bit overplayed. But this, finally a situation where the police need to be called. You can't just let a girl dance in the square like this without at least spending a couple years in jail. I'm sick and tired of these burlesque devil worshippers sowing a little bit of thigh meat, bringing Satan's music onto public avenues. Oh yeah, 911, you are not going to believe what I just witnessed. Get down here immediately. <laughs> It's illegal to do this? <laughs> you have to wonder if this woman has like a degenerative brain disease and she just fell off the cliff recently, or if she's been like this her entire life, in which case it begs the question, how do you make it through life this long uh, as this much of a weirdo? I am a woman of God. This is my right as much as it is yours. This is my land. Okay. I did not <laughs> sign up for this. This is actually amazing. I'm sorry, improv classical piano to the cadence of a public freakout outside of Nordstrom's is maybe my new lifeblood. This is incredible. And the finale of her getting the cuffs, just, uh. Well, my brainworm's tank is filled. And just remember, every one of these situations could have been avoided if they just exercised a little bit of restraint and poise when they're out in public. That way they wouldn't have been filmed and blasted to millions of people on the internet, embarrassing yourself and your entire family tree. But as we know, and as we saw here today, sometimes it's the person holding the camera that's equally as pathetic, if not more. Thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, I appreciate your time. If you want to get your own Brainworms apparel, shop.leonlush.com. We got some stuff over there. And if you could subscribe, if you haven't, that would mean the world. Appreciate it. Before you go, make sure you hip thrust that motherfucking like button, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.